You are welcome to my channel, The Poetry Site Television. This channel provides all the relevant information in running your poetry agribusiness. This channel as well is very important to all the farmers and livestock practitioners. If you are into poultry production, you must by now subscribe to this channel to get all the needed and updated information in running your business profitably. Many have packed, many have closed, many are also regretting endeavoring into the poultry and livestock business because they fail to get the required and relevant information in running their business. My name remains Dr. Leonard Charles Wogu. I'm the chairman and the chief executive of Lena Fields Technologies Nigerian Limited, an agri and livestock company based in Abuja, Nigeria. I'm a senior consultant. I am also a farmer, a professional farmer with three decades experience. So it is my honor to be of service to you in this channel. If by now you have not subscribed, do that by clicking the subscribe button below this content and get all the necessary information you require. You are doing yourself a very good favor. In fact, this is an opportunity for you to move your business to the next level. The topic of this particular training is the use of cassava peel and other tuber crops in poultry feed formulation without compromising quality. Cassava is a vegetable that is a stable ingredient of many diets worldwide. It is a good source of nutrients but people should avoid eating it or feeding it to their farm animals raw. Raw cassava contains cyanide, which is toxic to ingest, so it is vital to prepare it correctly. Also, there are two types of cassava, sweet and bitter cassava. The bitter cassava is hardier, but has a much higher cyanide content. Most of the cassava used in many countries of the world today are the sweet type. In this training, I will provide you all the relevant information, a general and holistic view of cassava, the pills, the, and other tobacco cross benefits, and the risk involved in using them in your poultry feed production. What is cassava used for? Cassava is a rich, affordable source of carbohydrates. It can provide more calories. It is a crop which makes it very useful in developing countries. It is very essential to pick cassava and never eat it raw. It contains dangerous level of cyanide unless a person cook it thoroughly before eating it or before using it in production of any of the livestock feed. In addition of eating cassava, people can also use it for many other things including making animal feed like the poultry feed, fish feed, pig, goat, cow and the rest of them. Cassava is a good source of vitamin C, thymite and ripofuvlans and niacin. The cassava leaves also are also edible for both human and animal. If a person cook them or dry them in the sun, it contains less toxics and it contains up to 25% crude protein. But in feeding poultry, the roots how to make your own chicken because human or poultry feed animal also eat using poultry. therefore. Available. Make use of the cassava in reducing the cost of our feed by substituting it 
up to 50% of the corn. You can bear with me that most commercial feed producers make use of the corn. Therefore, the feed must be costly. You can also bear with me also that many farmers at the end of their production cycle find it difficult to make any profit. You can as well bear with me that many farmers have packed, have closed, relieving their pen or their poultry houses vacant because they cannot continue. There is no profit for them. I am here to provide a substitute raw material that you can source within your household. What others throw away can be converted from waste to a very good, valuable product that will help you reduce your cost of running your poultry business. So stick to this channel. If by now you have not subscribed also, do that now. Innovation is turning cassava peel into livestock feed in Africa and other countries of the world. Cassava peel also have the potential to make livestock production cheaper, making protein more accessible for the countries and for the poor people in most of the African countries that are into livestock and poultry business. What is this cassava pea used for? It can be used to produce livestock feed. It can be used to produce specifically poultry feed. And it can as well supplement maize, which is the major source of carbohydrates or energy source in poultry business. Ask yourself this question. Is cassava peel actually toxic? Yes, it is but it's essential to peel the cassava and never eat it raw. It contains a high level of dangerous toxic content. It should be dried on the sun before using in poultry production. Cassava peel is made up of 11.8% of the tuber and contains up to 19% of the gross energy in the tuber. It has high quality protein. It is also made up of 8.3% crude fiber, 7.7% ash, 1.2% ida extract, and 79.6% nitrogen free extract. The highest final body weight of 54.56 kg was recorded in a test diet prepared to feed pig. 6.5 kg was also recorded in a test diet prepared to feed broiler for 10 weeks. Though the protein the major protein content or the crude protein content of the cassava pea is not too high, but the crude fiber is very high, between 10 to 30 percent. The results indicate that cassava pea is a very good feed source and can produce higher and total solid. energy to your livestock products. Therefore, every farmer should learn how to process cassava and other tuber crop peas to reduce the cost of the carbohydrate or the cost of using only corn as a source of carbohydrate in their feed. Because corn or maize, in whatever you call it, is highly contestable. This, the demand is very high, both for human and industrial uses. But the peas are not eaten by humans. Therefore, many people throw them away to the dustbin. So when you pick them as waste, you will not convert them to a usable 
format in your poetry or livestock production. How do you preserve or prepare cassava pea for use in poultry business? Sun drying in listing and fermentation should be used to prevent the HCN poisoning when feeding bitter cassava varieties. Cassava trees can represent 5 to 15 percent of the roots. They are obtained after the tubers have been washed, cleansed, and peeled. Transforming cassava peel into nutritious animal feed has the potential to replace the roots up to 50 percent. The use of cassava peel is not only good for feeding poultry, it's also good in reducing environmental pollution. Because cassava peel also has the potential to make livestock production, making protein more accessible for the country's poorest people and low income. <laughs> livestock production accounting for more than 70% of the Bubble is served in the next 10 years. We need a rapidly rising demand for livestock animals, especially in developing countries. Based on the need to reduce human livestock provision for food and feed animals, developing alternative and sustainable feed source is very important to boost livestock production. It is also essential. The high use of cassava, animal feed generated from cassava pea holds enormous potential due to its availability and affordability. With the use of cassava pea, farmers and farm millers will be able to buy cheaper ingredients, potentially growing their business and making more profit. And having a very good market share. Livestock producers will have access to better and cheaper feed, reducing operating costs and potentially making a very good profit. Boosting the quality and quantity of animal source and food produced in addition with additional supply of grains available for human consumption. Consumers would also benefit from the availability of cheaper and better animal sources, food, and improving health outcomes, particularly the congestive health of children. Ask yourself this question What is the food protein of cassava pea? High quality cassava pea, if well prepared into fine mash, have 3.2 percent good protein, 8.3 percent good fiber, 7.7 .7 ash, 1.2 percent either extract, as I earlier said. Cassava pea contains starch, and the major component of cassava pea is that of starch, your all own to chicken, 8 percent, or poultry feed using Available other tuber crop peas can be used to reduce the cost of your feed production, like the potato pea, the yam pea, and other tuber crops. We cannot enter in this context or treat them later. The next is the potato. Potatoes are one of the most popular root vegetables available worldwide and throughout the year to acquire cheap to grow and very rich and Do you know that eating the skin or the leaves of the potato can provide you more fiber, proteins, minerals, vitamins and phytochemicals than just consuming the whole potato. 
Now, let me give you the eight reasons why you should never throw away potato peas. Number one, potato pea is very good for skin. The pea is a very good source of protection to human and farm animals. Two, potato peas are also loaded with iron that help support red blood cells function in human and livestock. It is a good source of vitamin B3 that helps cells break down nutrients into usable food. B3 helps the cell recover from physiological stress for both human and livestock. It has fiber. It please give you a good amount of fiber. The fiber is also helpful in keeping metabolism in control, both for human and for livestock. It lowers the risk of cancer in human and heart diseases and type B diabetes in human beings. It is an anti-allergic and immunity beneficial to human and livestock. The peas are a natural source of flavonoids, a type of phytonutrient that shows anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects, which protects your body and the that of the livestock against infections and diseases. Therefore. Using the potato peas to feed their livestock is a very good source of defense from infections that can ruin their business. The potato peas manages the blood pressure in human. The peas also help in keeping the heart of human and livestock functioning properly. When the heart of the livestock functions properly, that livestock grows well within its environment. It does this because of the content of minerals, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. It is good for bones. Potato peas have and contains minerals that are essential for maintaining or maintenance of your livestock bone structure and strengthen the livestock. It's also good also for human beings not only livestock. These nutrients include iron, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, calcium, copper, and zinc. About 50 to 60 percent of the magnesium in the body of human and livestock resides in the bone. Consuming or using the potato peels in the livestock feed help in maintaining the bone density and could also reduce the risk of osteoporosis in human beings, especially women after menopause. In conclusion, the potato peas has vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin C1, copper, magnesium, zinc, fat and protein, calories and up to 27 grams of total carbohydrates. In fact, the protein content of the skin and flesh is 50-50%. The yam pea. Yam is a tuber crop. Yam is also eaten by human and it's also used for industrial purposes. But in this training, you should know that yam pea are very important in preparing poultry feed. Yam peel is an average sort of energy with metabolizable energy valued ranging from 11.3 to 12.6 megajoule per kilogram. The poultry content ranges from 91.4 to 127 gram per kilogram. High starch content and higher starch digestibility have been reported in yam pea by different scholars.
We go to the peas in broiler and layers diet. The importance of peas in broiler and layers diet. There are several studies on the feeding of pea meals to poultry, but recommendations have been quite variable. Several factors include differences in the composition of the pea, processing method, age of birds, and diet composition may all affect the utilization of pea meal by poultry. The following point I'm going to raise now will show you a summary of some recommendations from different scholars and our own practical experience in using the peas in feeding our livestock in our own farm. The cassava pea has an inclusion of 200 grams of cassava pea. It's very good. It does not compromise growth in broilers. There is improved weight gain and we get up to 4 kg in 6 weeks. It's also very good and efficient productivity, availability, and comparatively lower in using the cassava peel instead of the maize. There is also low hydrocyanic acid when the maize or when the cassava peel is processed well under the sun by sun drying it up to 99 percent the yam peel in broiler cheek give a maximum growth the yam peel usage in the broiler feed does not affect it at all it was observed that the yam peel or the yam peel meal of up to 25 kg diet was optimum for broiler growth and carcass threat. I personally I recommend a yam peel mixed with um, potato peel one by one is to one for the diet of um, starter and finishers in broiler respectively. I also suggest that you make use of yam and potato peel to substitute or replace maize up to 15 to 45 percent in broiler starter and finisher diet without any adverse effect on the growth. Sweet potato peel. I advise that sweet potato peel meal should not be fed to broiler starter. Should not be used in preparing broiler starter feeds, but could be used up to 310 grams per kilogram diet in the finisher diet. More recently, we used it up to 150 grams per kilogram diet, and it gave us a very good result in broiler finisher the sugar beet pop is very good in broiler finisher feed it can be used up to 75 gram per kilogram diet in broiler finisher the citrus pop can be used up to 20 grams Another trial reported that sweet orange peel can be included up to 79.2 grams per kilogram diet in broiler without adverse effect on the performance. The banana peel is also good and is very important in preparing broiler finisher. In terms of layers diet, several factors, including the source of cassava peel, processing and the age of bears, may all affect the composition of cassava peel and its recommendation in the diet. In this training, you will see a lineup of different feed formula tested with the use of the peas, especially the cassava peel, for broiler starter for growers and for finishers and as well for layers chicks or layers beds.
the future of peas in poultry production. The huge world production of fruit, structure, and fruit crops to meet the increasing world demand for food and industrial uses indicates high availability of peas. If properly processed and stored, the utilization of this waste in poultry feed will reduce feed costs and the potential environmental risks. Peas have moderate nutrient content, which make them potential ingredients in poultry diets. This, coupled with the advances in processing technology to reduce the anti nutritional factors, would see an added value to peas for poultry feeding. With the growing market and availability of feed addictives, the future use of peas is brighter. Less valuable recommend recommendations on inclusion rates will be better established. Besides the nutritive content, several functional properties like the antioxidant, the antimicrobial are available in peace. This may further increase their use to produce consumer friendly poultry products. Since the price of feed grains and oil seeds, such as the soya beans, the granite cake, and the pancane cake, have been climbing to multi year heights in the last few months. Whether because of bad weather in the main producing areas or zones, or insecurity, excess purchase or increasing duties, the consequences are now an enormous challenge to the whole agriculture sector, especially the livestock. And sustainable strategies need to be adopted to enable a more efficient use of the resources. One question the producers must constantly ask themselves is if their production processes could be made more efficient through the use of bills and other waste products and convert them into raw material for local feed production and this will help to reduce the cost of feeding and the cost of production which will at the same time enable the farmers get the product at a very cheap rate. I also recommend all farmers worldwide, especially in Nigeria, to make use of the peas from all these tuber crops as earlier mentioned. In preparing their personal feed to feed their livestock. This will increase their productivity and maximize their profit. Thank you very much for watching my channel. I also recommend you and advise you to stick to this channel. Follow up and share the link to your friends and colleagues. This will help you this will enable all our farmers gain in, in a correct and accurate knowledge and wisdom on how to handle their poultry farm business. Once again, if you have not subscribed by now, click the subscribe button. Bye. The, the next content, which is how to produce 6 kg broiler weight in 8 weeks. You will know the concepts, the principles and practices of getting an average weight of 6 kg in 8 weeks or 4 kg in 6 weeks. You will know what you are supposed to do as a farmer. You will get all the feed formula needed to achieve that good result. You will know how to source your beds, 
you as well know the breed of broiler that will give you that required weight. You also learn more on how to take care of the broiler from the one to the selling point to get that particular weight. You also know how to feed your layers to achieve the jumbo egg. All this will come up in the next content. So stick to the channel. Bye for now. Tea. Thank you.